In this video, let's talk about what is an inventory management system. So inventory management system is basically, you know, you have some inventories and you want to manage them. So let's take this rectangle to represent a warehouse, right? Where you store, or at least temporarily store your inventory. And if this rectangle is the inventories, right? And typically, at least in the inventory management system web application that we are going to create, we have a warehouse that not only store the, the raw materials, right, the, the inventories, but also we make products out of the inventory. Right? So when we use the inventory to make things, the end results are the products. Right? So basically from here to here, uh, we have an action of produce, right? So when we produce, the number of inventories decrease and number of products increase. There's another action here, which is when we sell products to the outside of the, the warehouse, the number of products also decrease and that action is selling. Now we have uh, producing, we have selling, and when we don't have enough inventories, what's going to happen, of course, is you know we, we need a, a shipment from outside to inside. This we will call it uh, purchase. In our inventory management system, we are not directly going to deal with shipping and receiving, but we'll, we'll deal with purchase, right? Like purchase orders. So when we have a purchase order and when we fulfill the purchase order, right, we'll receive inventories. Right? And when we purchase, the inventory increases. When we produce, the inventory decreases, but the product increases. And then when we sell, the number of product decreases. Uh, so this is the inventory management system. right? On top of all of this, we're going to ha have to have a reporting module right, to report the number of inventories, the number of products and how they change uh, across different days by different actions, whether it's purchase or produce and sell. We want to see uh, the number of inventories before a particular action, uh, like purchase, right? We want to see uh, the number of inventories after that particular action so that we can always track uh, on what day and what have uh, happened to the inventories or products you know as the management of of your business you you want to be able to look into all these factors in order to properly manage your uh, warehousing or your product uh, producing or, or inventory uh, purchasing so this is the inventory management system that we are going to create with ASP.NET Core Blazor.